All right, hey guys, I'm Quinch here. We're back with good, The Good Place episode five. Um, yeah, we're going to jump into this one. So, guys, if you enjoy the reaction, leave a like, subscribe, check out Patreon for the reaction to the cool. But on that track is one person you would kill instead of the five. What do you do? Do we know anything? Any of the work? Most people okay, don't do so anything, don't they? Uh, in this test. Kill one person instead. Do it. But that's not the same thing. Why not? It's still choosing to kill one person to save five, isn't it? Michael. You've been kind of quiet. What do you think about all this? Well, obviously the dilemma is playing clear, God in it. You kill all six people. So <laughs> Here we go. Sharp blade out the window <laughs> to slice the neck of the, the guy in the other track. As That's much better. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> he's more. He's more really correct. <laughs> yep. Ten more, buddy. People good. People. Why is that so hard to read? People. What is it? Good. Oh, that's funny. I didn't expect that. Oh, that's great. Cool. There he is. Christian, do you um, care to join? Sure, dog. You're doing extra credit work? What can I say? No, they're uh, sleeping together. Oh, God. I'm saying you should talk to someone about how weird it is that you don't want to talk to someone about how well they get it. How can Jason be so wise but so not at the same time? I don't get it. Definitely a no on the rap musical. I mean, really? My name is Kierkegaard and my writing is impeccable. Check out my teleological suspension of the ethical. No. No, right? <laughs> no, I'm like he no sounds so idea. sad then. <laughs> my job is to make your experience here in the afterlife more enjoyable, so I will try to help you. I am going to need some time to read every book ever written about human psychotherapy. And now I've done that. So let's continue. I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, surely Janet already knows everything. Oh my God. I just want to have a little That's amazing. In the last, yeah, if you steal a loaf of bread, it's a negative 17 points. 20 if it's a baguette, because that makes you more French. Sure, but philosophy is about questioning things that you take for granted. And I just don't think that you're doing I mean, totally fair. I agree. Hugo is in the I have to control everything and that he has no voice in this place. Good. Right, Jason? Good. Now, where were we? Just yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> the, the little nod from Janet was great. Don't concrete approach. Here, let, let's try this. Oh, oh no. Michael, oh, no. I made the trolley problem. I'm not about to make an episode about the trolley problem. What, what I look, what, what I honestly love about that is that we know that he can't make a decision, so you know he had no way. With this, how would I do the trolley problem? Trolley problem. Odds are, I probably freeze up. I would most like if you had no choice. I, if I had to pick one, I probably run over the one instead of the five. Therefore, I am an active rolling this, and I have murdered someone. So, in I would fully agree that I probably should go to prison just because I, I made the decision to kill someone to save five people, but I still killed someone, if you know what I mean. Whereas, I guess, if I just let it go, I am... Morally, I had a choice to save five people. So, yeah, it'd be one of those things where, like, I probably would push it to kill the one, but then I would also expect full repercussions for doing that because I have fully, fully, fully known killed someone. That's how I see this problem. Um, whereas, if you just left it, yeah, five people died, you had no active role. That's just the way it is. But, yeah. It's difficult, most likely freeze up. <laughs> your people with a trolley. It's just a simulation. I would never make you kill real people. Oh, well, that's real. <laughs> it feels so real. People flowing to my mouth. Michael, can we just go back to the classroom? <laughs> we never Jeez, left. For, <laughs> his voice, Jesus. Sorry. You're right. I want to help you understand this. Thank you, Chief. Let's try again. Oh, I, I, I thought maybe we would have a discussion. Now the whole point is to play out the scenario in real time. <laughs> uh, for fuck's sake. Okay. He can't make decisions. I am choosing to switch tracks, so that way I only kill one person. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is the scenario where you actually know one of the people. It's your friend Henry there. <laughs> yeah, they're my boots. Ethics Express. 
<laughs> Not Henry. Oh no. <laughs> That's so bad. That's scoring. How would you feel about giving Jason and me a cup of coffee? I'd feel great. What the fuck? What? Janet, what's happening? In a way I'm not designed for, and it's creating a small glitch. But if I'm helping you guys, I say, what has one thumb and wants to keep going? This. Not the other thumb. Eh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Janet is the best character in okay, the show. So that was Charlie version number seven. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Studio said he over five Williams Shakespeare's instead of one. Santa really? Claus. Okay, as much as I'm enjoying watching random people's To be fair, off, he did make me do I, I had to learn about it too much in school, so yeah. Chidi, Chidi, think about this. I'm your hottest friend. No, hottest. I'm your nicest friend. No, Jason. I'm your friend. <laughs> I, I won't do it. As a doctor, I have taken the Hippocratic Oath. Oh, no, they are both very good looking. Five people will die. I cannot. Doctor Chidi? This is fucked. My daddy needed a heart transplant. Did you save his life? He was working when a really bad man ran him over with a trolley. <laughs> this incredibly helpful i think i'm really starting to get it oh i know I'm the one where, uh, this is amazing on so many levels can i just say 50 people or one awesome dog or oh no. No, no, no not no, the awesome no, dog no, no, no. are you torturing us again what you don't care about learning ethics lessons you're just torturing chidi again aren't you he can't help himself it's his personality <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry old habits die hard not as hard as those people you crushed with a trolley, though. Boom! Is, is this funny? <laughs> I loved it. I love how I love Michael when he was pretending to be good, but I love him even more that he's a villain. <laughs> he's not even a villain now. He's like the, the, the chaotically, the chaotically evil who offended. <laughs> my laughter. You are no longer welcome in my class. Get the fork out. Oh, Elnor's face. But I said. My bad. Out! <laughs> it's not a punchy, bro. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about Jason. Bugs. Fruitful. Put flowers and bring them to me. Often they're ones I've just planted, but that's how I know they're fresh. <laughs> yes. The most self-aware person I've ever met who has massive amounts of unearned confidence and is utterly unaware of his own absurdity. Therefore, I love how proud he is. Sex. Oh. Do you and Jason remember your drama script at all? Do sit and let it go. That's so romantic. Aww, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Huh. Look, I'm oh, from Butler. If Chidi can't take a joke, that's on him. Just like all that blood was. Hey, 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 hey. I can't high five that. <laughs> I can. No matter how badly I'm I really want to high five that. I'm high fiving that for you, bro. Chidi not playing an Eleanor. Posting my cousin's credit card number on Reddit because she said I looked tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bonding. No. Pulling an Eleanor in this case is lashing out <laughs> at you like a failure. This. You couldn't have this. Oh, you this dynamic's so much better. You took it out on the teacher. Chidi will get over it. Oh, leaving it up to the other person to be the grown up. Yet another classic shell scrum move. You and I are really very similar. I know that says a lot about you, Eleanor. Jesus well, Christ. It's 100% on you to make this up. Basically, meteorite poop. And I have the biggest feet. Eleanor, I had Janet make a never ending shrimp dispensary. Oh. <gasps> that's pretty, that's sick. <laughs> this is the dream. It is? Yeah. Jason? Here you go. I think that's pretty cool. Pikachu. What? It's Pikachu. That is so easily. Oh, man. It's ever seen this. Except for you. Well, the guy who read it. Luke did it. He read it. Whoa. This isn't an apology. It's a bribe, and I'm not interested. Yeah, we can't be bought. Uh -huh. What do you want from me, man? You want me to give you a, a golden nameplate for your offer? What do you want you from want me, a man? A card. I love Michael so much. <laughs> And this will be Oh, oh, okay, all right. I get it. I get 
You want me to admit that I was wrong. You want me to say, oh, gee, I'm so sorry. Because I didn't understand human ethics and you do, it made me feel insecure. And I lashed out. And, oh, please help me. Okay. Because I feel so, so lost and vulnerable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> His face there. <laughs> This is my so favourite character arc. I... <laughs> Woohoo! Nobody try mystery flavor. It's white chocolate and it is nasty. That's oh god. I don't know if I just still eat it though. Oh uh, that I'm loving Michael's fucking character arc. It's so good. It's like god tier. Congratulations. I am very happy for the both of you. Janet gonna be okay. What's happened? What's wrong? Full safe sentence. I, I can't stop glitching. I don't know why, and it's getting worse. I fear this neighborhood is in danger of total collapse. So that's the main thing. How are you? I thought it was a pretty big dude. <laughs> it's best character. To... Oh, I love the character in this show. The best guys are too. I fucking love them. I think that they're so smart when they do it. I fucking love the writing in this show. Right, in clever. Uh, great episode of The Good Place. I, I just love Michael's character arc they're doing with him. I think it's such a genius idea. I have literally a guy who tortures B people for eternity trying to make him to, to learn ethics was amazing. I love how they made the whole trolley thing an episode. I love how they got a story with Janet doing something she shouldn't, no, well, doing something Janet shouldn't, and then glitching out and um, causing a big problem over time, which was interesting. Also, looking at Tiane's and uh, Jason's relationship, that was a lot of fun as well. Absolutely fantastic episode. I just think the, the writing in this show is really, really good. Um, Ryan puts, uh, the funny thing is Michael knows everything that happens in Animal Life, so probably remembers the toothbrush holder incident too. He just get a new context for all this now found information. I think there's all like, he knows everything, but he's not perfect, and I love that. Um, even just shows no matter how much knowledge you've got, you know, you're not like, you're never going to be perfect, that's cool. Crow put, uh, Jason can be so wholesome sometimes, even with stupidity, and he can be so wise, it's so weird. And it fits his character as well. Because he says the why stuff in his own unique Jason way. It's so weird. I could totally understand what you're saying about there being heart in the show. It's like a totally unique, lovely, lovely vibe to the show. It's such a lovely vibe. I don't know. The show about this show. The vibe is really caring. You can really tell. But well, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe, tip.